we are just refinancing a couple properties. So we bought a package of properties, what, about a year ago, I think, maybe, maybe a little over a year ago, 15 months. Yeah, 16 months, yeah. Yeah, so a duplex, a fourplex, and a sixplex. This was brought to me off market. Um, it was through an agent, so it was gonna be a pocket listing, but before he actually listed it, brought it to me. I think the overall purchase price, we paid 70,000 a unit at the time. It needed work, so I think we got a construction loan of 200,000 on it. About that. Yep, so I think our overall our overall debt into the project was you know 800, and I think our, the, the value um, in which we purchased that was about 980 to a million or so. Um, able to get in there and complete our business model. I know some of the fourplexes were originally renting at 750. There was no utility billbacks, no common area maintenance fees. Been able to push that up to 1095. So that's great. But one of the biggest ones, and I think this is this is once again, you know, getting into it and really knowing your market. Duplex, big duplex, four bed, two bath, each side was renting for $660 a month and the owner was paying for all the utilities, which was about $500 a month. So basically you couldn't even, you know, cover the debt yeah. with what it was getting. But now we're getting $1,400 a unit. Residents are paying all the utilities. We fixed it up, it's really nice. It was not really nice beforehand. So that's where we get our value from. And it just appraised that building itself appraised for 400,000 and the entire package uh, appraised for 1.365. So we're gonna get basically double our money back. Yeah, I, I, that's, it. we will own it. Uh, it's gone up in value $600,000. Yes. And it, it's it's funny because people are like, oh, you're still buying duplexes, fourplexes, sixplexes. Well, that's the reason why. Yeah. It's local. You have the systems. You have the property management in place. You, you do this over and over and over again. Why would you not purchase something like this and give up six hundred thousand dollars that's sitting right there? I don't know. I'm not passing up on a six hundred thousand dollar bill. No, I think the thought process is sometimes duplexes, quads, whatever. It's the same amount of energy for a little less return. But I, the cash flow is not there. Because the cash was not there. Now, look, the cash was there for the project. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. I'm saying that cumulatively or, or, or in to, in total, there's not a lot of cash flow. From You're not going to retire off these 12 units right. split between, you know, three other individuals. The, the, the cash flow is not going to uh, significantly change your life. But what it is going to do is allow you to basically own these buildings with no money into it. They're going to continue appreciating. Also, what I do really, really like about smaller buildings is they are much easier to sell. Like they, they, they're almost like, a, they're, they're a lot more liquid. You can kind of consider them your little piggy bank. I, I'm, I'm selling some duplexes right now and there's just a broader market for it. Now the cash flow hasn't been that great. It's like I've had them for four years and maybe it's made like 10 grand or 12 grand it's spit off. But it's appreciated basically double. So much. Right? And it's just, it also opens up your, your buyer spectrum because you can, you can find people that want a house hack, find smaller landlords. Um, Find people that want something similar to a single family rental, but that has a little bit more scalability to it um, the, and a little bit less risk because a duplex, in my opinion, is much less risky than a single family. The barrier of entry is much lower. Exactly. The, there are so many people can, who can purchase a, a two unit as opposed to a 200 unit. That's a no brainer. I think I want to, you should highlight though, and you did, but like 660 for a duplex or sorry, one side's renting for 660 and now they're paying 1400. Sometimes people will ask me, don't you feel bad? What's lost there is that this, this is a completely different property now. Yeah. It, it's super nice. I felt bad when they were paying 660. I'll tell you why. <laughs> no, no, th th this is serious. Yeah. I mean, th it was infested with cockroaches, bed bugs. Um, it, the, everything was broken, broken windows. I mean, leaky sinks, holes in the ceiling. And that was acceptable to the previous landlord. Now, I, I, I just can't, under good conscience, say that's okay. Nope. Oftentimes, we still have the same residents stay in these places. The, the fourplex that went from 750 to 1095, we still have some of the same residents. They are so thankful that we went in there and we actually added value. We put in $14,000 into that unit. That is a significant upgrade. They're basically in a new house. They went to stainless steel appliances, refinished all the hardwood floors, redid their bathroom, redid the kitchen, redid the bedrooms, added new lighting, made it safer on the exterior. So they're actually getting that value and people are happy to pay for that.